Looks mm. have always been, you know, the first thing that uh, certainly men will notice, but it, that's all it is, mm-hmm. right? So you're just there and the 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 abundance, it's literally infinite, right? You're on Instagram, it's infinite. You, you see one girl, oh my gosh, like this girl's beautiful. You swipe, oh, she's even more beautiful. Oh, yeah. oh, but look at this one, look at that one. <laughs> Sounds like you've done this yourself. Never, never, Ruslan, never. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, listen, because um, I do, this is so foreign sure. to me. All of this is okay. so yeah. foreign to me. I don't yeah. even know what, I don't even know what these apps look like. You know what Instagram looks like. I know what Instagram yeah. looks like, but you're talking about like Tinder and stuff. Yeah, well, Tinder is, I mean, it's literally just, Images that pop up and you see someone swipes left. And then if they're trying to see. Left if, is a no, right is a yes. And so if, and if you both say people yes, swipe right, and then they swipe then right while message. they're going through yours, then you can yeah. message. Okay. And that's the only way. Wow. I, I don't even know what the other ones look like, but I think it's very similar. Okay. Right. And this is even different from the original online dating where, you know, like a profile. It was more like a Facebook profile, yep. Yep, interest, yep. whatever. This is just, you know, people are literally sitting there, yep. you know, just going, 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 going. Um, another thing that's happened is that, you know, and the... People in the so-called red pill world or manosphere talk about this a lot, Mm -hmm. which is the fact that so many young women, especially, are all chasing after the same five to 10% of men, Mm -hmm. right? The reality of the world is that most men find most young women attractive, Mm -hmm. whereas most young women find most men unattractive, Mm -hmm. right? It's very lopsided. There's biological reasons for this. It Mm -hmm. makes sense if someone wants to go deep on it. But this creates this this massive skew, mm-hmm. especially when people are relying on this online stuff, mm-hmm. where you have a large segment of men mm-hmm. who are really not getting much attention at all mm-hmm. and are struggling to get dates and yeah. are unable to even think that they'll be able to get a girlfriend, let alone a wife, let yes. alone this, you yes. add on top all the economic and financial hardship and sure. so on. Sure. So you have a large increasing pool of men who are just like, hey, like, you know, there's there's nothing out there for me. Yep. Whereas in the past, it was just like, cool, you know, get your education, get a good job, be a decent person, w- take a shower yeah. and, you know, you can you can attract a mate, you can find a nice sure. woman to settle with and whatever. Sure. Right. And then you've also that now then on the opposite end, you know, if you want the term high value man has become like Hold quite on, let's, cringeworthy. Let's, let's now go to high value. Oh, man OK. Just yet, OK. Because I, I want to kind of say. OK, some sure, of that. sure. But but I think what you're saying is valid. And we were talking about this and I just had this conversation with a family member of mine mm-hmm. of like, hey, look, you know, as a woman, most women, as long as you have hygiene, mm-hmm. <laughs> you finish puberty. And if, if you're beautiful, you're beautiful. Like it's it, nothing else has to happen. Yes. Right. And you could put poster, pictures on Instagram. You can go out in public. Guys may or may not approach you. But man, it's different. Yes. If you, you finish puberty as a man, you still have to develop and build yourself up to be someone that is deemed attractive. Mm-hmm. Right. Putting on muscle. Right. Working on your physique, developing competency and different skills, mm-hmm. learning how to earn and provide, which mm-hmm. all of these different things are just barometers for competency. Yeah. I think I think we hopefully people know that that is the difference. And so to your point, yes, women are going to have more dudes that are going to slide into their DMs. Yes. Men are going to have less women slide into their DMs unless they've already been working on themselves and creating and chiseling themselves into mm. who they should become, right? Yeah. My my question would be shouldn't we then just be instructing men to become more like tipping the scales in their favor mm-hmm. to develop the competence, to develop the physique? And to become the type of person that could provide, protect, and lead a home. Absolutely. And okay. that's why the red pill world has become so popular. Mm-hmm. That's why it's exploded and popular. By the way, for people who are just coming across that term now, this community has existed They've for They've been around forever. Over two decades, yeah. right? Yeah. It's in on the internet, it's been it's been around for over two decades. Started with, you know, public forums mm-hmm. and now, you know, you've got YouTubers and podcasters and, and so on. It's been redefined a little bit. Sure. It's kind of had a new surge in popularity and a bit of a change sure. in meaning. With a, sure. But, but, and, but, but so, let me yeah. rephrase that. But Go I ahead. think sometimes what the red pill does is then they backdoor a victim mentality instead of just giving oh, the prescriptions I think they, that men I think they back, the, the, a lot of stuff can get backdoored, yeah. right? Um, but I think, yeah, absolutely, the message of men to... Three things you'll hear a lot in in these in manosphere circles yep. is um you know money muscles game yep right um which is that okay that that's solid right you know yep. get your get your money in order yep. right with that comes being ambitious developing your skills mm-hmm. getting your education yep. you know working hard mm-hmm. all the stuff you know I preach you preach yep. it's important yep. right if you're gonna have uh, 
if you're going to have a family yep. and you want to attract a woman, you need an ability to be competent and to provide. Yep. Right? Muscle. Hey, you know, put get, some get, muscle on. Get, you can't, get, can't get, look get like your, a scrawny kid your yeah, whole life. Get, get, yep. get, get your fitness in order, right? Yep. Don't be, you know, obese. Yep. Ha, get be a healthy body weight, yes. you know, build up your muscles to a good degree. Yep you know, have a lower level of body fat, you know, make yourself physically attractive. With right. that, you can also add, you know, dressing well, grooming, yes. hygiene, that kind of yes. stuff, right? Yes. And then game. Game has a negative connotation to some people, mm -hmm. but really what it is is social calibration and social skills, sure. right? Being good at communicating, sure. developing your sense of humor. Sure. Game doesn't just apply to like macking on women. Yep. It's like, cool, that guy's good at communicating, He's right? persuasive. He's persuasive, yeah. right? You can, you can lead, you can do all that. So that prescription is is solid yes right i think um where a lot of people would then would would take issue with it is some of the things that then go go beyond that yeah right um especially if it's coming from a prescription but then there are also people who would say look we're just trying to understand the situation and we're trying not to prescribe anything we're just to explain what is going on with these gender dynamics and so on but i think coming back to the original question the point is that in the past 15 years, let alone 20, let alone 30 years, the social and cultural and technological environment, the teenagers and people in their early, let's let's say from teenagers to mid 30s, mm -hmm. um, the environment that they are in when it comes to dating and mm -hmm. relationships and everything like that, it is vastly different. If you talk mm -hmm. to a lot of uh, young teenagers or people in their in their 20s. Mm -hmm. There's very little exclusivity, mm -hmm. right? Men and women are just dating for the sake of dating, for the sake of fun, not knowing you might have a woman who's dating five guys at once, a guy who's dating seven girls at once. None of them are really like talking about exclusivity yeah. or trying to see if their values align for a potential marriage or yeah. this or that. It's just, it's very directionless. Mm -hmm. It's very directionless. And in the absence of some type of traditional framing or religious framing or anything like that yeah it can often stay like that for many many decades yeah. and you have many people who are promoting and pushing that type of lifestyle all all over all over the spectrum yep um yep. so it's a it's a strange so, situation so, so so my solution which is much like kevin samuels's mm. solution one of the few times i would hear him talk about marriage is in the confines of people staying married who they have kids with yeah. and then in the confines of an Ikea marriage. Mm -hmm. Now, he also said a bunch of stuff I disagreed with, like high-value men cheat and they should. Mm -hmm. That's a direct quote. I didn't make that up. You guys yeah, that was a bad that. one. I wish you didn't bad say one. that. Bad <laughs> one. Um, <clears throat> but this idea of building an Ikea marriage, right? Yeah. Somebody said, how can somebody get married young if they have to develop themselves, yeah. right? And I would say, well, I told you, I, I'm not exaggerating. This is not exaggerating. I know about 100 couples mm -hmm. who all got married in their early to mid-20s mm -hmm who built lives together mm. before they had the money, the muscles, and the game. They built these amazing lives together. The way you assemble IKEA furniture, yeah. don't come assembled, nobody delivers, you gotta get it in a box, and you gotta assemble it. It's the same way, it takes a little bit more work, but there's nothing like building something together, yeah. right? So I think the frustrating part is like, and I don't know if the red pill intentionally omits the IKEA marriage. Okay. Let me be very specific, the Christian IKEA marriage. I don't okay. know if it intentionally omits this, or if it's just disingenuously ignorant that the a lot of folks who are going to have lower body counts, mm -hmm. higher values, be women that are more willing to submit to mm -hmm. men that can lead, are going to be in church, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so it's like if I personally know 100 couples, 100, Zuby, 100, that's 200 people mm -hmm. that love Jesus, were virgins, or very low body counts, got married in their early 20s, started families, building lives, have babies, and they're thriving and they're flourishing. That's yeah. just within this proximity. To me, that would imply two things. Selection bias on my part, because mm -hmm. I'm in a different ecosystem of mm -hmm. different types of people who have different family dynamics and different values, and selection bias on the part of the red pill. 